Hello and welcome to my first behind the scenes video. We're currently driving through Deception Valley in the Central Kalahari Game Reserve in Botswana. In this video I'm going to try and show you a bit of what happens behind the scenes on a filming expedition such as this one. Uh, please follow along and if you like this sort of thing let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and make more of these in the future. But let's start from the beginning. After weeks of planning, my mother and I finally set off from Hermanus, near the southernmost tip of Africa, with everything we needed for a few weeks in the bush. Cameras, chargers, batteries, food, water, a small coffee table, and a dog named Apologize. Our journey took us through the beautiful Karoo, then across the border into Botswana. We offloaded the dog and coffee table in Gaborone, then continued north, the main roads in Botswana are generally good, but we nonetheless reduced our speed to around 100 km an hour to avoid livestock in the road. After three long days of driving, we finally turned off the tar road, aired down the tyres, locked the hubs and headed down the dirt track that leads to the central Kalahari game reserve. Matswere Gate I installed my car mount and set up my camera, but we didn't see much on the way in other than a group of bat-eared foxes as we crossed the valley. We arrived at our campsite after dark, quickly set up our tents, ate a pre-cooked meal and went to bed. The next few days were spent exploring Deception Valley. Every morning we would wake up before dawn and head out at first light. This area of the park was quite dry, with no standing water, and daytime temperatures were pushing 40 degrees centigrade. The animals here are remarkably adapted to these conditions, and we saw numerous Gemsbok and Springbok as well as a variety of birds and the bat-eared fox family we had spotted on the way in. On the second day, we came across a coalition of three male lions. They were lying right next to the road, not doing much at all, so we continued down to Deception Loop, where we had been told a cheetah with two cubs had been seen. We were lucky enough to find the cheetahs near the road and watch the cubs playing for a short while before their mother led them off into the bush. We returned to the lions who were of course still resting, so we moved off a bit to shoot a time lapse while keeping an eye on the lions with the binoculars. At sunset they finally started to move. We followed them for as long as we could, but eventually the light was gone and we had to head back to camp. After three nights camping in Deception Valley, we packed up camp and headed west toward Tao Pan. We took the faster cut line route, which was uneventful, but easy driving. The Central Kalahari Game Reserve covers 52,000 square kilometers, almost 10% of Botswana's total land area. At Taupan, we checked into Kwando Safari's Taupan Camp for a couple of nights of luxury. Taupan Camp is perched on a dune overlooking the pan, and each room has a private balcony and outdoor shower with a view. Plus, there was electricity to charge up my batteries, and they kindly filled the water tank on the vehicle as well.
this area had had more rain and there were large herds of springbok, gemsbok and wildebeest on the pan. Every afternoon spectacular rain clouds would form and the area would be bathed in golden light. Other than the large herds on the pan, there were also numerous jackal and bat-eared foxes about. We also saw a lone giraffe drinking, a beautiful male lion at sunrise and a cheetah resting under a tree. After two days of comfort at Taupan camp, it was time to move on. This time we took the northern Passage Valley Road heading east. My mother did most of the driving, thanks mom, so I could be ready to mount the camera if we came across anything interesting. But we were driving during the hottest time of the day, when the animals tend to rest in the shade, so there was not much to see. The Leopard Pan campsite is quite remote, and there was nobody staying at Sunday Pan, a few kilometers away, so I think we were probably about 20 kilometers from the nearest human beings. The campsites in the central Kalahari Game Reserve are very basic, just a fireplace, a long drop toilet and an enclosure with a bucket shower for which you need to bring your own water. We set up camp and quickly headed out to shoot a sunset time lapse on the pan. From Leopard Pan, we could drive east to Sunday Pan, where there is a man-made waterhole, or south to Deception Valley. On the second day, we went south and visited the small copse of trees where Mark and Delia Owens camped for seven years in the 1970s. They were studying brown hyenas and other desert wildlife, and they later wrote the book Cry of the Kalahari about this experience. On most days we would return to camp to eat lunch and wait out the heat of the day. I used this time to back up my footage and charge my batteries. At around 3 o'clock in the afternoon I'd boil some water on the gas stove and make a strong cup of coffee. Then we would head out again for an afternoon drive, returning only when it was too dark to film. I usually eat frozen pre-cooked meals when filming so I can get to bed as early as possible, but it's still nice to make a fire each evening. The campsites here are unfenced, so a fire is good for both ambience and safety. On our second day at Leopard Pan, we headed across to Sunday Waterhole to find a big male lion lying next to the road. He was covered in blood from a recent kill and was totally unfazed by our vehicle. So I quickly mounted my camera and started filming. We followed him to the waterhole where he had a drink, then walked around scent marking trees before collapsing in the shade. That evening, on a sunset drive around Leopard Pan, we found a pride of lions with three cubs right in the road. The light was fading fast, but I managed to grab a few shots. The young male was very curious, coming right up to the car to see what we were up to. After the light was gone, we hung around with them as long as we could before heading back to camp.
After three nights at Leopard Pan, it was time to leave the Central Kalahari Game Reserve. We headed down to Deception Valley, then east out of Matsuere Gate, and back onto the tarmac. In part two of this series, we visit Mkhadikhadi and Nai Pan National Parks in the hope of filming the zebra migration. <laughs>